Hey guys, it's time for a brew. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not sure exactly why, but I've done this. I think I've noticed I've done, I do this quite often. Uh, when I do, it's time for a brew. And I always like some sort of weird face happens, and I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. But, uh, so this week has been pretty good so far. Um, and getting caught up in at work, and I am so happy about it. Uh, just I need the stress uh, release, and it's it's getting there. It's getting there. It's uh, I think once things really start clearing out, I think it'll be a little bit better yet. Uh, kind of feel like I'm really really caught up, not just waiting for people to pick stuff up. So. Uh, so really, uh, oh, I, I, I guess I need to say this. I can't believe I haven't said it yet. Welcome to Vita. Welcome to Vita. Yeah. And if you are uh, into into the idea of blogging, vlogging, sorry, video blogging, uh, if you are into that sort of thing, if you uh, think you might be into that sort of thing at all in any way, I think this is a good time to start. Uh, give This is really pushing me to do this, and, I, and I'm really liking it. Uh, VidCon is going on right now and lots of announcements are happening so I feel like by getting into this now really means that there's other avenues uh, stuff with uh, interacting with you the fans and it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool idea uh, but yeah so welcome and uh, if you have not subscribed subscribe because that makes me happy and uh, as of right now, I'm not, not very popular, so I get an email every time I get a new subscriber, and that's awesome. And I happen to get one recently. You, you know who you are. The only new one that's been there, the only new one that's come through in the last, like, couple months. So, thank you, you special person. Uh, make yourself at home and have a cup of tea. So anyways, back to work. Uh, really, what what with the local festival that's going on, uh, it's a lot of shopping type things. They really want to uh, push local businesses, and it's really cool. Um, like Tuesday night was a thing called Taste of the Town, uh, where most people had the option to uh, go to different vendors uh, from different restaurants and such, and sample the foods. And there's like a local coffee house that has some. Uh, good good stuff, some sandwiches and coffee and all that, and soups and cobblers, and they post stuff all the time on Facebook, uh, uh, pictures of their stuff coming out and everything, and I think that's really good. I mean, that's a really good thing. I'm a huge advocate for using social media to get your business up. Uh, I think it's an awesome idea, and I, if I, can, I wish I could help some of these businesses that don't do it, especially restaurants. You restaurants, if you aren't using Facebook, you are something wrong with you. All right, you need to get that. You need to get on that because you can post your specials and even uh, like the local uh, pub, if you want to call it that. Uh, they like to post a surprise special. Like they'll even post it. They post it like the day of. That much of a surprise. Like it'll say surprise, all you can eat wings or something like that. And they'll do it like on a Sunday or something, like a day that you wouldn't expect it, because normally it's like on a Wednesday. And I, I just think that's an amazing idea, and I think more businesses need to do that. I don't care if you sell screwdrivers and you have a surprise sale on screwdrivers. Post it. Who cares? If somebody sees it, it only takes one person, and then that person likes it, and then their friends see it on their page. And even if they sh if they share it, then you know it'll get it get out because then another person will see it, and another person will see it. And if it happens, even if it's a chain store, which pff, I don't care about that, I'm more lo looking at local businesses that are locally owned, and it's the only one, it's the only location. Get your name out there because it's it's so useful. Uh, but anyways, I'm not going to go on that tangent right now. But that 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 was the that was most of it, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, they have this thing uh, right now called uh, it's like a Oh gosh, I don't know what they actually call it, but it's bingo, essentially. Um, all these businesses buy ads, uh, buy an advertisement space on a grid, and all these people have to go to each business. They actually have to go into the business 
and get a stamp, a sticker, or we're going cheesy and we're just doing like a black marker and I'm just making a mark, you know, anybody could fake it. Um, but for the most part, I'm the only one, I've been the only one doing it so far, actually marking them. So I don't know if they, if they would check, which they're not going to, but if they were to check, I could say, like, nope, I never did that. I wouldn't do that. Mine doesn't look like crap like that. Yeah. Or if it looks too good, and then it's like, well, my handwriting is absolute shite. So, anyways, but the but it's a really good idea. Get people in the businesses and talk to the people if they need to. Otherwise, like, for the most part of my day has been, I think I had two or three people actually ask me stuff while they were in there, other than, oh, you signed my bingo thing. Yeah, whatever. Um, but hey, it's a good idea. Um, even if it seems impersonal, they did stop in. Now they know where you're located, and they might even get a gist of just looking around what's going on. So that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I got home and uh, had uh, some cheeseburger sliders because it's my one of my favorite little suppers to make. Um, I make like three of them. They're real small, but. Uh, they're so good. I mean, I, I honestly enjoy them way better than like a restaurant's cheeseburger sliders. I don't know. Mine are just fantastic because all the made with love and whatnot. Yeah, I think made at, made with badassery because that's a word. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I thought I mentioned in my last video about a there was a beer trailer and uh, so it's like a like Bud Light on draft and they have that parked outside our 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 place. And so I made an appearance. I came home, changed and stuff, and shaved. And I made an appearance. I had a drink. And my belly started acting weird. So I said, okay, I'm done. So I left. One beer. It wasn't the reason. <laughs> that wasn't the reason. That was not the reason um, why. But, yeah. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. I, uh... <laughs> I... I didn't just spill a little bit of tea on myself. It did, did, didn't happen. Uh, a little bit. Not. It's not a big deal, but it was enough that it was like, eh, I should probably clean that up now. But it's it, it's nice, as you can tell here with my lovely magic cards. <laughs> I have a glass desk, so it doesn't really matter because it doesn't hurt anything. A little bit of Windex, done, clean, back to new. And I'm acting a little street there. Mm, I don't do that normally. Anyways, so to... So yes, yeah, so I made an appearance and blah blah blah. Uh, so but yeah, like I said, the beer didn't make my stomach act weird. It's been acting weird the last couple of days, but uh, usually I drink enough water and it goes away and I don't worry about it. And it just started acting strange again. So I was like, all right, well one beer was enough. I made an appearance. I talked to some people and then I left and checked out a few things at work, of course. Uh, but yeah, so and of course, what do I do? I bring the tea right back over to me. Oh well. Uh, a bit of news for you Whovians. Um, I did see on Facebook and then a couple other friends who happen to be uh, fellow Doctor Who fans. And apparently this Sunday at 1 or 2, um, there's going to be an announcement of who the 12th Doctor is going to be. I'm nervous and um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. Uh, my big thing so far, and this is just me, you know, I I love Doctor Who and all that, and the the big thing I've noticed so far is I didn't know who any of those actors were who played the Doctor. Uh, Chris Eccleston, David Tennant, and Matt Smith. Um, for the most part, I did not know who they were before, and I felt like that really helped me with the Doc being. Uh, a fan of the Doctor, you know. I mean, I didn't know who they were previously, so I didn't see them in a different light. Uh, as like uh, Johnny Depp is a great uh, example because Johnny Depp played for me in Secret Window and I think Ninth Gate or it's Gate to Hell. I can I always mix that up, uh, but. It's not coming to me right now, but anyways, I seen him in that. Then I seen Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, Dead Man's Chest and That World's End. I seen all that after I watched him in those other movies in the more serious roles or creepy roles. 
So I didn't see him as a comedian, as kind of a, a any sort of like ha 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 actor. I didn't see him as that. I seen him as this serious, who's he about to kill? Subtly, you know. But so th that's the thing right now with doctor with the doctor. I want to. I guess I don't want to know who it is. Uh, Obviously, there are some actors that I could see as okay. Maybe they'd be okay. Of course, there's the joke, the jokes that you could play, like Hugh Laurie, who played House, um, and of course, in a bit of Fry and Laurie with Stephen Fry and all that. You know, him being comedic and then did a did a serious role like House, and then for him to be the Doctor would be cool, but at the same time, I know who he is and I know him. I just I don't like that. I don't want him to be the doctor. That would be awful. So some random uh, actor that possibly, if I do know him, I don't know him from much. Uh, Chris Eccleston is a good example because I've seen him in Heroes as, a, as the invisible guy. And that was fine. I mean, his kind of funny, witty self uh, kind of came through as the ninth doctor as well. Um, he had his like kind of arrogance, and that's what he was in Heroes. But... Anyways, that comes that happens Sunday, so we'll get to see that. I should be around. I should be able to watch that and see what happens. So cool stuff. Uh, so tomorrow, more of the local festival of shopping locally thing uh, for the local town, and so that's it's cool. it would be a busy day. M lots of more shoppers and such. Uh, so. Oh, I didn't even—I didn't show you the brew of the day. Aha! I bought this giant box, and I tell you what—it's still up to here. I mean, I have not used much. I mean, I have drank a lot of it, but I have drank a good amount of it. But it's not bad. It is really good. If I don't know if you ever—if you never had Tetley uh, brand, you should definitely try it out. They usually sell it in like a British blend and a classic black in most local stores, um, like little supermarkets and WalMarts and whatnot. Uh, try it out if you like that and you're wanting a little high quality or a higher quality taste get the loose leaf it's great uh, I didn't pay much for this I think it was like 12 bucks and you get this ginormous box I have a relatively big head see this is my hands are huge too so I mean it's like oh, I can get all the way around it but um, here we go a phone there you go iPhone boom now you can see, and this is a four, not a five. So yeah. Anyways, so very. Thank you very so much. Yeah, uh, thank you so very much. I can't talk. More tea. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and I hope you are having a great week. And I will. And I'm so glad I can say this, and I hope I can continue it. I so hope I can. I so hope I can do this. I will see. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Catch you later.